What's up everybody? Welcome to the Wicked Garage. You may already know the railing box. Um, Want to do, uh, do a quick video, show you some of the stuff I've been working on. I've been really busy trying to get some things done, trying to get this thing back on the road and get it out so that you guys can see it in person. Um, hoping to get able to get it running this week. Um, if not today, don't quote me on that because you um, never know what's going to happen. Um, let me show you around. We got it down on the ground, obviously. Towers are raised three inches from stock. made new strut tower mount thanks to my buddy Kyle Sparks for helping me out with that idea sitting here in the garage trying to figure some things out um, towers like I said are raised tops are cleaned up there's no recess in it um, they're double welded inside and out there's in inner and outer tins on it so there's actually two layers of metal in there to make it perfectly strong um, finish this here to kind of make it look a little more finished in here. I never cared for that on the XBs while I left it open. Um, but it fills in that gap real nice. Comes in real nice around here around the course part and finishes it up real well. Um, some of the other stuff that was done in the tubbing, this whole apron here was cut, pushed in, probably about two, three inches. Got, got room for that tire to come in. Um, on the inside of the wheel well, which you can't see, that's been tubbed to allow the tire to come up. <clears throat> tire tucks up in there really nice and it should be able to roll when I'm driving at that low so um, got the weapon R intake here got to thank Ben for that he hooked me up we're gonna work out a deal for doing trading this for some work on his new ride unfortunately his B got totaled and had no use for this so he hooked me up seemed kind of a shame to paint this thing up when it was so nice and pretty chrome um, but um, as you know there isn't really anything in this thing that's chrome and I've got, done a lot of work to do that um, but painted it green it looks really nice in here did some more by doing the air intake that's an engine air, short ram air intake I shortened it a little bit I had to tweak it around to get it in here of course I found that uh, it had to be twisted around after I got it painted um, I will say I like this intake, but it is a pain in the ass because it twists everything around. Your throttle gets twisted around, which that's not a big deal, but it does turn the whole throttle body at an angle, which then you have to extend the mass airflow sensor wires to get in. Um, got that in. Uh, I got the green intake filter, which I had to look and look and look for. Uh, painted that as well. <coughs> uh, yellow top Optima battery is painted green. Uh, these battery terminals are just waiting until I get my new ones in. I just ordered in some new ones. They're pretty tight. Um, found this really kick-ass wire. I think if you follow me on Facebook and Instagram you've seen it. Uh, KNU Concepts. Really great wire never seen a four gauge that flexed quite like that um, got more of that on the way as well uh, ordered up the silicone lines and changed all the silicone lines that I could well the ones that you can see anyway um, to this uh, I left the heater control heater stuff all there I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it it might make it this year it might be gone by next um, that's all done I got the um, killer glass rate upper radiator in cap I painted billet cap here I managed to forget the one that goes on the master cylinder which is going to get re-cleared strut tower bar has been redone I know you guys, some of you guys have seen it and been like, ah, oh, dude, well, that thing was all scratched up and I love the color, but this has got a little bit more to go. Uh, I'm going to detail it out, clean it up a little bit. It's going to get cleared along with the Optima battery. Um, the headlights, 
which a lot of people are really into right now. Um, these LEDs are brighter than hell. I cannot wait to get them on the road. Um, I tinted the one yellow. I wanted it a little bit different. I um, hadn't seen anybody do it, so I thought I'd try it. Uh, made the, uh, the trick turn signal here, um, which I'm still working on. I got this one worked, uh, well, the housing made. Uh, LED strips will go in there. Um, I'm going to be making them sequential so that they'll out. Um, right now I'm getting ready to do the wiring on that so that it uses the factory wiring harness so that the low beam will be the white one, the high beam is the upper, and then when you pull the high beam both lights stay on. That's today's project. But uh, that's it there for now. I just wanted you guys to be able to see it. I've been you know, totally stoked with all the stuff that's going into the motor and making it look as cool as it is. And unfortunately, the pictures just were not doing it any justice. So, <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys that and uh, let you know that hopefully she's going to be out soon. I know she's already registered for uh, Offset Kings up here in Joliet. Uh, so, if you guys are in the area and uh, want to see it in person, definitely hit it up. Any questions or comments, you know, leave me a message or hit me up. I'm happy to fill you guys in on what's going on and uh, I'm not afraid to show you my secrets. I just want to help people build some cool shit. So, until next time, later.